hello from inside the tent. I get to do something fun this weekend. I'm at Pagan Travel Gathering 2022, uh, which was supposed to be in 2021 and 2020, but this year we actually get to do it. Um, and I'm here to, well, have fun being a druid, obviously. And I'm also giving a talk on sensory loss and magic. I don't know how much of the talk, if any, will be in the vlog, but here we are. <laughs> We're here. I... Let's have fun. So let's go on a tent tour. I feel like it's only fair. I also came here on the train and then got picked up from the station. So I... There's another spider. Do you mind? He jumped. I could only bring what I could carry. But I think you'll actually be quite impressed with how much I managed to cram in. Because the tent was in my suitcase. This pillow, obviously deflated, was in my suitcase. Sleeping bag. And an air mattress. Which has like little air pockets. With like little diamondy bits. I don't know if you can actually see that. But it's not like a tube of air, it's like many, many pockets of air. We'll see how comfortable it is. Later, I will check in tomorrow with that. And then there's more of the sleeping bag. And then out there, that is a camping chair which I just carried on my back with my rucksack. Camping stove and camping stuff in the suitcase. Th this table rolls, but that also fit in my suitcase. And here is the suitcase. And it still has stuff in it. Um, including three empty water bottles, which I didn't fill because it would be heavy. Um, and an air pump that apparently I can't use because it turns out you need a plug. I didn't have one of those. But this, the beauty of this air mattress is I can just blow it up. Um, my mouth. I was about to hand. So it wasn't, wasn't the end of the world. It's my tour. Uh, so I've got some fun things to do. Some workshops. My talk is today. I got here an hour ago. And I've got my talk at half three. Have I planned it? No. I'm also testing out a long cane for the first time uh, this weekend because when I, because I'm night blind, there are tents and tent poles and pieces of string. I feel like I need all the help I can get. So I'm trying a new one. It's not very good, but it does the job of being a stick. It was huge when I bought it and I had to cut one of the elastics and obviously I let go of the elastic by accident and now it's all just hot glued together and it doesn't fold up anymore. Good enough. And I'm also wearing my Proud to be Deafblind t-shirt from Deaf Identity. Not sponsored, just relevant to my talk. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go have a walk around and I will show you my cloak that I altered. Because I have, I had as a gift ages ago, this like beautiful, really over the top, like pagan cloak. I now call it a druid cloak because I'm a druid and it's my cloak. Um, it's made of moleskin, black moleskin, is not actually made of moles it's just a type of cotton found that out the other day um, and it's got a, like a silk lining but it was made to be floor length and I don't know how but it seems I've either shrunk or it was never made to fit like properly um, and because we're on grass and it's the UK and it's probably gonna rain I wanted to alter it so it wouldn't drag on the floor like at all or as much so I've done that it's not great but it's easily fixed okay let's try not to find the absolute worst place in the world to balance you you can almost see how much it doesn't drag on the floor we don't need to see my face for this bit you've seen it enough it is warm and then i have my long cane as well this is on the floor. It's got a red tip. It's not got a good tip on it. it. Bounces on a lot of things. But this is my setup. And I'll see you later. Lighting and angles, obviously, my friend today. But I went to an incense workshop because, of course, I did. There's a video up there for one of my incense videos. I took some notes, uh, got some book recommendations, and some just cool little tidbits, facts and we got to smell lots of things. And then I was also very kind of given 
some of the herbs. So we've got some calm three, uh, sandalwood powder, and some rue. Never heard of rue before, but it smells great. It's kind of a woody plant for anyone interested in herbs. It's lunchtime now, and I have failed to find a gas canister for my stove, and the food is not ready in the food vans yet, so I'm hungry. But we'll see how it goes. I bought snacks, I just don't want to eat my snacks just yet, but I might have to eat my snacks, and I'm being plagued by bugs. My talk is in like two hours and a bit, and I still don't know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna see who turns up and say, and poll the group, be like, hey, what do you want to see? Uh, or here, should I say. Hey, so I'm really bad at this. Didn't film the talk because, to be fair, a perfect number of people turned up so it was more of a discussion like what brought you here tell me your experience and it was very interactive rather than me talking for 30 minutes because i know i make youtube videos it's what i do but it's so much better when it's a discussion i went and chatted to some pals and then there was like an open ritual and the mead was top tier now i have chips so this is more of a mukbang and a bev because I'm a person. So that's been fun. It's been a bit cold today. Oh, and I bought this. I cannot show you in here. Okay, so purple, blue, green, yellow, red, and all the way down. It's rainbow. Yes, it is. And it's warm because cold. It's cold. It's not like cold. It's wind, mostly. So in here I'm nice and cosy. And I still have my sleeping bag that I've never slept in. And my cloak, which you've seen me in, but this is, I bought this as well so it could be a blanket. Oh, also bought some mead, which I will decant into a water bottle and take with me. Sensory loss is cool. Deafblind people are cool. Pagans and druids are cool. Oh wow, that's a light. that's a lighting. That's worse? Better? No. That's mm, hi. I'm a bit drunk. Um this video has turned into something I didn't I mean I didn't plan it at all, what am I talking about? Uh camping, deaf, important <laughs> words. Having somewhere safe and dry to put hearing aids, very important. Sorry about the shadows. So, I'm about to go to bed. There's a drumming circle over there. I can turn it off. Oh, I've got hiccups, this is not good. I'm gonna need a wee. I don't know where I th Oh, I'm. Am I quiet? Am I loud? I'm a bit drunk. But my hearing aids are safe. Um, and I have not done a good job of vlogging because I haven't taken you anywhere. You've just been in my tent and briefly outside. But there are people around me. And it's other people's talks and other people's privacy, which I'm trying to respect because none of them are consenting to be in a vlog and to check with everyone I walk past is difficult. Talk about. Oh god. Not deaf enough. I'm also less than a week from my tattoo removal, so I've made some choices. I've made, made many choices tonight, including the number of drinks I have had. I will see you in the morning. Probably. Someone will. There will be drumming. Drumming will wake me up, I'm sure. Good night. Oh, goodness. I went a little bit hard on the mead last night, didn't I? I think I'm just going to talk about camping while chronically ill for a hot minute. Um, and I'm also going to pat myself on the back because I didn't forget many important things. The only thing I forgot was a gas cylinder for my camping stove. Um, I just thought I had one, didn't. Um, but I managed to locate one of those. I've camped a lot in my life because I used to do drag racing and I still do. I'm going at the end of next month, so you get to see that too. Uh, so. 
it's all just like I know what I need. If you've seen, this is a really old video to link, but going away for a weekend with chronic illness. I haven't had to pack because my illnesses, disabilities, whatever you want to call them, have uh, things have changed since that video. So all I've really bought is hearing aids, my long cane, um, all my sunglasses, so these, and my orange ones. Uh, my daily medication, just making sure that I have food, being able to eat, they have a chip van. That's all I need, chips. Keeping warm enough, cold out carrier. It is summer, so it is quite warm. Especially during the day, my tent is currently sweltering, hence the t-shirt, but if I go out there, I need, I need the big fluffy thing and maybe my cloak as well. Um, I did have shorts on briefly, I've changed my mind. I've got masks, so if I get cold, I can put one on and hope for the best. Um, sleeping, I did wake up a little bit cold, but that's fine. I rolled over and went back to sleep, because I have my big, thick, thick onesie. Um, and the airbed I'm on isn't like a whole tube of air, so I don't have cold air underneath me. I've got my hand sanitizer. Um, I have a chair so I can sit. Food, plenty of water, there's drinking water on site. Just knowing what the amenities were helped. I've got a friend camping next door, so if I need anything I can pilfer off of him. I'm just not overdoing it. I'm cur there's currently nothing on that I really want to go to in the schedule. I did just go to a morning meditation, which was nice. What's on at 11? It's wing dancing. I don't dance. Being deaf and chronic painy, ah, dancing is not for me. The underworld and path working, not really for me. Another dance workshop, again. The meditating sound therapy. Well, I talked about in my talk about meditations that rely on sound. That's also not for me. And I have just done a meditation. I don't really need to do it again. Um, so yeah, I've got an hour. So I'm going to read this book. Um, it's the Kyluk or the Kyliak or the Kayak so many ways to pronounce it uh, by Rachel Patterson. She's here, she's speaking today, so I'm gonna go see her talk about that. I might ask if she can hop on and say hi, uh, because this book specifically is one of the reasons why I found the Kylook to be my goddess and the fact that the call to veil was from her and then she called me an idiot. It was great! Um, so I need to thank her for that, which I think will be cool. And check out my bookmark from Deaf Identity. Please be patient, I'm deaf. It's just one of the cards that comes with the stuff. Not sponsored, just thought you'd like to see it. And um, also, if it's not raining, I'm gonna go shopping. Because <laughs> no, I have a job now, I have money. I can go buy things. I can't wait for this like phase to end of the whole like, yeah, I have money now, I can buy things. Because I have too many things to start with. Um, but there are pretty druidy things and there's books and there's shiny rocks. Because I like shiny rocks. I'll come back and show you my shiny rocks. Hello. I'm not using the viewfinder to do my sun cream. Yes, I am. I feel like I'm getting sunburned already. I need, to do, oh, I need to do my scalp. It's the downside of having a zero. It's that. It already feels warm. This is your reminder to put sun cream on in the sun. Be healthy and smart. Okay. I did go shopping in the end. And it was I was very bad. I bought more books. Because I have a problem. Right, now that I'm suitably sticky, put my sunglasses back on. I don't know where I put my orange ones. Okay, let's do a haul. So I got this cool ring, which is uh, Labradorite. And then this one is allegedly blue's tig blue tiger's eye or hawk's eye. And I tried these on in the shop. They fit. I bought them. I left the shop. They do not fit anymore. Um, so I'm gonna fix them. And I bought books. I bought these two. Uh, Under an Expanse of Oaks, A Druid's Journey. A very slim, pocket-sized version of Druidry that I could just take with me. And The Power of the Runes, because I have a set of runes and I've never used them. And I think they're really cool. And they're a whole alphabet. And I agreed to help someone with it despite very little experience. And then I bought this, that's it, there you go, which is a copper uh, pendant, which has like three bars of light on it, which is a druid thing. So that's my treat to myself for getting my shit together. These are magnificent. These are 
rainbow dungarees which I will I will wear at some point show them to you and then some light flowy pants um, which are white which is a good thing for druid stuff and also when it's hot but when I leave the tent it becomes too cold to wear the very thin trousery things because of the wind I'm pretty sure I bought something else but I can't remember what it is but that's my little haul and this this is gonna be everywhere I'm obsessed with this I got um, got another talk to go to this afternoon I'll tell you all about that um, hopefully I'll take some more notes and we can have a better discussion about that hello so I just I'm bad at vlogging I, I always was and now I'm worse um, but I can be outside now because it's the last day of camp people are packing up uh, here's the chaos that is my little setup and I'm a whole look right now I've got my rainbow thing and my Mike Wazowski Monsters Inc onesie it's not Mike Wazowski but I feel like I look like I've fallen out of Monsters Inc it's great uh, so yeah, it's the last day of camp, went to a talk about, uh, just like a Q&A panel of witches, which was great. Um, and the raffle, I won a thing on the raffle. Which is a book from uh, Rachel Patterson, which I who have still not managed to meet. But this one is signed, uh, and it's about crystal magic, because I don't know if you've seen my big box of rocks. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so if you see my big box of rocks, you'll not have a lot of rocks. So I'm interested to see what she has to say about them. Which is really, really cool. I've had a little flick through and it's very interesting. So I've, I've got a lot of books from this trip. I have no idea where I'm going to put them. I think I gave you a tour in a different video, whether I've edited it yet, whenever you're seeing this. I have, I'll put a card, but it's not that interesting. So yeah, that's it now. I'm staying until tomorrow, even though camp's finished. Now the closing ritual's at like three, um, but people will pretty much be gone. After that, I get to stay. I get a lift to the station tomorrow so I can get on a train that isn't a rail replacement bus. And it's still gonna be chaotic, but all I have to do is get home. So that's much better, I think. I also didn't budget food. <laughs> for the night, so I'm gonna go on the scrounge, I think. I'm gonna consider this camp closed. Thank you for coming to my tent talk. Uh, yeah, don't forget to like this video, drop a comment. You can roast how bad I am at vlogging things, but I wanted to do something fun anyway. Um, so that's, I hope this has been helpful. There is no universe in which this is helpful, but it's fun. So I'm just gonna say goodbye and see you in the next one, whenever that is. See ya.